Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back here again in another video. As you may have seen in my last video, I showed you um, pretty much the basics of this WE-1911 Nighthawk, which is made out of real steel, and that I got two extra magazines for it, and that it came with an extra barrel extension for suppressors, like mock suppressors on airsoft guns. Um, if you guys are watching this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video with your friends and family, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, in this video, um, I'm going to show you how to take apart your gun and put it back together, your WE-1911 Nighthawk. Um, I don't have a WE-1911 in particular, so uh, I can't really say it's the same thing as a Nighthawk 1911. So, uh, I'm just pretty much say how to take it apart and put it back together and, you know, all that stuff. Um, one thing I did forget in the last video, though, is the instructions. They were actually really good. Um, came in many different languages. Um, there it is. Okay. These are the instructions. This is what it looks like. Uh, you know, has a, this is, I think this is actually the real gun. Or this is just, like, the barrel extension or something in there. Which actually looks really cool, in my opinion. Anyway, uh, let me just, uh, show you guys real quick. Because it does inform you how to, like, adjust your hop-up and everything. So, uh, and take your gun apart. You know, all that good stuff that shows all the pieces that put together. There's millions of them. In fact, let me, let me show you. It's really crazy, though. Um, yeah, it shows you even the ins and outs of the magazine. So that's pretty crazy. Uh, that's really, really useful if you're a beginner in Airsoft. Um... On a scale from 1 to 10, what I rate the WE Nighthawk, Nighthawk 1911 is an 8 stars out of 10 because um, I did have a little bit of a magazine issue where some of the green gas was leaking out. I don't know why. I, I think it may have just been how I was putting in the green gas and how, how long I was putting it in there and everything. So, and then the minus 1 star is because of these little dimples in the gun. I don't think you could see that, but if you're looking this gun up on e-bike, then you'll definitely be able to see the difference between a normal 1911 and a Nighthawk 1911, which is custom made like this one. And, uh, yeah. So, say you have the magazine in the gun. Um, this is how to take apart, by the way. Say, okay. Yeah, I gotta adjust this where y'all can see me better. Say you have the magazine in the gun. All right, and you want to take it apart. So what you're gonna pretty much do is make sure that there, there are no BBs in the chamber. Uh, well, that no, no, no. You do that later. Sorry, uh, forget what what I just said. Um, anyway, just make sure that there, you know, that this. Well, no, never mind. Okay, forget that too. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Um, anyway, you just take out your magazine. You know, put it off to the side or whatever, like I did on my bed. Um, now what you're going to do, which is really going to be hard to see, um, but I think you might be able to see based off of what I may show you. So, here you go. You have your gun, alright? This is on the left side if you're holding it in your right hand. Okay, if you're holding it in your right hand, it's on the left side where I'm going to show you. So, um, I don't know if you can see... Yeah, I know you... Oh, whoa, what the heck is happening to my video? Okay, my video's lagging a little bit, I don't know why. Okay. So, anyway, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to slide this back to where it's at, like, the little half circle thing. Then if you see on the other side of this, there's a little circle thing where you can push that in to take that piece out while it's still where that half circle thing is. Then you go back to the other side and just pull it out. It's really easy. Yeah. Whoa. I didn't know that was going to happen. So, I mean, you don't have to do this, but I do this. I just shoot that before I do this. Alright? Make sure you ha hold it right here, too, because you might come in, you might have a big surprise, like I did when I was first taking it apart. Uh, it's still lagging. So, if you're watching this right now and it is lagging, I'm sorry. I don't have anything else to record this with, so... <sighs> okay. Anyway, you have, you know, your main handle or grip, whatever, of the gun. 
Then you have this right here for a spring and this little slide thing is. I'm gonna take that out. Take the spring out from in here. Keep that in mind. And take this piece out, which is right in here. So make sure that you have those all in the same place because I think I lost like the spring and everything when I first took it apart because it just bounced out. So make sure you're holding that and making sure that it's not popping out of your gun when you first take it apart. Um what I'm gonna say right now is if you are do if you are doing this right now, um if you mess up your gun, it's not really my fault because it's probably it's either the manufacturer's fault or your fault, depending on if you took it apart wrong, or they just made it, or there's some, like, made it incorrectly, or there's some kind of factory malfunction or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, um, if you see, like, right in the barrel right here, you can see there's this thing where you can slide it around, you know? And, um, you're gonna, if you're looking straight on like this, you're gonna slide this piece to the, to, like, counterclockwise. Then you're gonna pull it out very easily. Okay? Oh! Crap! Okay. <laughs> anyway, you can keep that there and, um. So, yeah. Uh. Gotta throw that to the side, make sure that it doesn't get lost. And now, here you have the inside of your slide, which is the barrel and everything. You know, make sure that this hop up system is pushed in to where the barrel is, and then make sure it stays in there while you take the barrel out. So. Now I have the slide, the barrel, the spring for the blowback action, this little barrel holder thing, this little pin, and then this, uh, I don't know what this is called, but whatever. <sighs> okay, sorry, I'm running out of breath. Oh, don't forget, you also have this in your magazine that came with the gun. Now, uh... Oh, boy, okay, what next? So... If you're just trying to clean out your gun, um, then just try and use a paper towel or something, and then make sure that you lube it up again. That way, you you still have a good gun. That way, it's not going to get messed up or anything in any way. So, um, yeah, let me just get that done here. So let me show you guys how to reassemble it. It's pretty much the same way that you disassembled it. Uh, you just reverse the steps. So let me do that real quick. Okay. Keep my computer awake. Don't want to fall asleep on me when I'm in the middle of the video. Anyway, what you're going to do is you're going to put this barrel in right here and to where the slide is in the front. You're going to make sure it's sliding in there nice and easy. Uh, you're going to make sure it goes against this little blue thing that you're going to see in the slide. I don't know what I'm, gonna, what I'm talking about um, if you do have this gun. If you don't have this gun, then you're most likely not going to know what I'm talking about, so... If you're watching this and you don't have the gun, come back to this video later, and then, you know, figure that out. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Gotta make sure this barrel stays in place. So, now what you're going to do after you put this little piece in, is you're going to take the spring, put it in right in this little slide right here. You know, see right here? little spring. Then you take your pin right here. You're going to put it into this spring, the other end that is free. And if you see your hop-up system right here, coming out of the slide and the barrel, um, you're going to push this pin and spring to where it's mounted up against the hop-up system. And it's going to pretty much try and make it as straight as you can. That way, you know, it doesn't slide around or anything. Uh, Anyway, now what you're going to do is you're going to, if you see in the back of the slide, um, you can see these little notches. Uh, what you're going to do is you're, uh, this is the way I do it. I turn the hand grip upside down, and I push this in, like so, and I take it slowly, that way the spring and pin don't get out of place. So, once you get to the end part here, you're just going to push that in, nice and easy, right? So now, what you're going to do is you're going to take this piece, Hold it in your hand, you're going to slide the slide back toward this little hole right here. There's a hole right here and there's a hole right here. This is where you put this piece in and then this this is going to go into the other hole which is right here. 
So, you're going to put this piece into the circular ho hole. You're going to slide this back to where the half circle is in that little hole. And you're going to, you know, put this little, you know, blowback system back, slide it back in there. It should be good. You pretty much just... Pretty much just figure that out. I hope you guys uh, liked the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video with your friends and family. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. See you later. Bye bye. Oh, and um, what should I do for the? Dang, I can't remember what it's called. Oh, whatever. Anyway, um, for the last part of the video, you can just go ahead and. Um, you know, subscribe, like, share this video with friends and family, and then I'll just leave this uh, little caption here or whatever with the, the slide and the barrel and stuff all laid out here. So, I'll take this apart real quick. Sorry, if you guys are still watching this, uh, you know, you're probably going to be bored out of your mind at the last minute. <laughs> okay. See that? I already took it apart. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna. Ah, whatever. <laughs> okay. Actually, that's. It's way better lighting over here. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry you had to see that. I know. The beauty is killing you somehow. Okay. This is just the... See something popping up on my computer. I don't know what's going on. Alright, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Oh, what the, what the heck is up with my computer? Okay, bye-bye. Don't forget. If you're watching this video right now, um, hashtag 13 minute mark, okay? If you're still watching the video, leave that in the comments. Sorry you can't see my face again. I'm sorry for the video quality. I don't have anything else to record myself with. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.